was completely wrong. There are no killings of farmers or white farmers in South Africa. Folks, welcome back to Ndaba Africa. This is Chris reporting from central Pennsylvania. More sad, tragic, disturbing, and horrific news out of South Africa, where just two nights ago, on the 26th of June, 2021, 34-year-old farmer Daryl Richter was stabbed and later succumbed to his wounds while on farm patrol in South Africa. Richter was on patrol along the Thornflay Road when he saw a suspicious vehicle. He called for backup and he was apparently stabbed multiple times by three assailants and was still alive when help did arrive. According to Diane Kohler Bernard, the DA shadow minister for state security, Richter was stabbed in the head and spine. In a press statement released on Sunday, she added that he had previously survived an attack in Butterworth. Now, the motive for this attack is not yet known, but the suspicious vehicle that Richter spotted and approached was found near the scene with dogs loaded in the back, according to Agri Eastern Cape. This attack on an Eastern Cape farmer comes only 29 days after the attack and murder of 79-year-old farmer John Friediga in the nearby uh, McClare area, according to Agri uh, Eastern Cape. Whilst issuing yet another call for South African Police Service to implement its rural safety strategy and increase efforts to prevent these senseless attacks. Well, unfortunately, Beckett Seeley and his gangster's paradise of South Africa, there is no help for South Africa's rural residents or its farmers. These farm murders or plots mord continue unabated, even in the midst of lockdown. The South African government could care a flying flip less about rural South Africans, regardless of their ethnicity, whether they're black, white, or brown, or Asian. They don't care. And they've made it quite apparent with their effort to disarm South Africans in the face of this. There's actually an effort right now to change the law so that self-defense is not a justifiable reason to have a licensed firearm. Are these people living in another universe, Daryl Richter, 34 years of age, was from the Waterfall Farm just outside of East London. He died of his stab wounds at the scene. Anyone with information about this attack and the missing assailant who the police are on the hunt for right now, please contact Sergeant Quinene at 079-408-9104. Police are on the hunt for this third suspect, as I pointed out. Daryl Richter leaves behind a widow and two daughters who are now deprived of a loving, law-abiding husband and father in Beckett Seeley's Gangster's Paradise, where they seek to disarm South Africans. The police are no help. They're missing 26,000 service weapons, according to newspaper reports. They can't track cases. They can't manage DNA. They can't manage forensic information. A backlog of now two years. South Africans are on their own. And this is a sad and tragic situation. But remember, folks, there are no farm murders in South Africa. Not my words. The president of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, after thousands of farmers, their wives and children, husbands, tortured, butchered, murdered on South Africa's farms. And even people who aren't farmers in the rural areas, like Edward Neumeister, the owner of a, a German restaurant in KwaZulu-Natal, murdered last year. And it doesn't stop with whites. It happens to Indians, 26-year-old mother of two, four months pregnant, slaughtered like livestock with her throat cut in the bathroom on the Ayub farm in KwaZulu-Natal. Black cattle farmer, successful, successful black cattle farmer, shot in the head during a robbery in the Free State into a coma, survives and then dies of his head wounds four months later. Black, white, brown, you're all victims. And nobody in the ANC cares about you. That's the bottom line. The absolute bottom line here is that nobody in the ANC cares about you. What's completely wrong, there are no killings of farmers or white farmers in South Africa. Unbelievable. The carnage, the horrific carnage in South Africa, which is easily addressed with a limited amount of resources, which the South African Police Service refuses to deploy, and they refuse to recognize rural violence and farm murders in particular as a high-priority crime. The human rights abuses here, denying people protection by the state. Off the charts, ladies and gentlemen. Sad, tragic news yet again in South Africa where 34-year-old farmer Daryl Richter, on patrol, to prevent farm murders, 
found a suspicious vehicle. He approached the vehicle and was stabbed multiple times by three assailants, two of whom he managed to, after being stabbed, mortally wound, and the third still loose as police look for them. Once again, if you have any information about this attack outside East London, please contact Sergeant Quinene at 079-408-9104. Sir Ramaphosa, when will you wake up and hear the cries of rural South Africans, black, white, and brown? Likely never would be my suspicion while you live in your plush mansion in your lovely life of privilege and elitism, which was handed to you based on the fact that you were a negotiator during the Codesa summit. Nothing ever earned on your part. Back at Chile, with rampant crime, even in the face of lockdown measures, all you get excited about is arresting law-abiding citizens for non-existent laws, which you call laws, or simply policy decisions and regulations during lockdown. While you allow cash and transit heist out the wazoo, farm murders unabated, gender-based violence, rape, gang rape, murder, torture, gangsters running loose all over South Africa, Bekitsili can't be bothered by it. His most important activity is to show up at Seneca on the 20th of October 2020 to hang out with his buddy, Julius Malema, who had a 26 police car escort, a member of parliament. He's not a state official. He's not a head of state. He's not a cabinet minister. 26 police cars escorted him there. Seneca, the 20th of October, the same day that the number three in his party called for burning down the boars, burning them out. Condolences and uh, thoughts and prayers to the family of 34-year-old Daryl Richter, by all accounts, a well-respected and loved farmer in the Eastern Cape. Folks, if you're not a subscriber to Chris White Africa, hey, why don't you become one? Where we, we are one of the few outlets outside South Africa that deigns to report on the horrific violence taking place there about what happens to South Africans. The world needs to know. Hashtag the world must know. Thank you for your support. God bless. What's completely wrong, there are no killings of farmers or white farmers in South Africa.